Are you ready for the Martin family invasion? Hey, 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 just a sec, just a sec, just a sec, just a sec. Come on, you guys. What do you got there? We're supposed to be going out. Well, I thought by the time that we drive to McKay's and order the food and drive back, it would take a couple hours, so I thought you might just want to get right back to work. It shows, huh? Yeah, <laughs> only to the trained eye. Oh, you're so smart. What do you got in here? What is this? Well, there's a little uh, stroganoff for us. Chilled bottle of vino. Very nice. And pizza for the kids. I'm thirsty. Okay, well then, um, listen, by all means, I think you guys should go raid the uh, the vending machine. Just do me a favor. Don't give your brother anything with caffeine, all right? There you go. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Thanks. Come on, Jamie. Famous last words. <laughs> we scrape him off the ceiling by doing that. <laughs> Thanks for the break, honey. I really need it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing that a couple of days of sleep wouldn't fix. Hmm. Ah, I'm up to my eyeballs and story ideas. Oh, my. I got the most incredible video thing. I want to do an entire hour, okay? Devoted to the idea of safe kids. Okay, what to do. How to teach them to be street smarts. Right here. Wow. I, are you producing this solo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we changed the, the rules around here. It seems if I want Liza's job, I'm just going to have to take it. We just declared all-out war. Hi there. Hi. You're Jamie, aren't you? You remember me? I work with your daddy. What's that? Oh, um... Well, this is a, uh report card that they give grown-ups for doing a really good job. You want to hold it? Yeah, see, they give these to people who do a good job, who make lots of money for greedy station managers. Think that's cool? Wow. You see down here? Let go of him! Come on, Jamie. She's bad. You got a sec? Sure. Uh, listen, we're sorry the boys got in your way. They told us what happened. No problem. We had sent them to the vending machines. Yeah, but uh, Jamie tends to be a bit of a wanderer. He's adorable, really. Thank you. Thanks. Well, they, they won't bother you again. Oh, no. There's no bother. He has Tad's smile. Mm, and he's already learned how to use some of his charms, I see. Well, he comes by it naturally, doesn't he? Well, there's no excuse for being where he doesn't belong. Well, children aren't the only ones who make those mistakes. Well, we'll uh, let you get back to work. Dixie, is Junior okay? Yeah, he's fine. Why? Well, he seemed uh, kind of upset about Jamie being here. Oh, what did he say? He can be rather blunt. Uh, no, no harm done. I think that the kiss is still very much on his mind. He'll forget it. You think he can? Yeah, we're dealing with it. Well, listen, I don't know if you've eaten, but uh, I brought plenty. I thought you might want some. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I haven't uh, really had time to boil water lately. So I hear. Uh, yeah, let's go check on the kids, okay? Okay, goodbye, Liza. Tad, could I have a minute? Not now. No, it's all right. Listen, I'll just go uh, track down the kids. I'll be right there. Okay. I put on the party face for your wife, but really, I gotta say something. WRCW is the television studio, not one of those play zones. This is no place for children. My children are none of your business. They are when they're running wild through the studio. They weren't running wild. And last I heard, Adam still owns this place. Junior just happens to be his kid, too. Well, I can't really afford the distractions, as yummy as they might be. And uh, what have we here? Canned cream of something with crunchy bits? How totally resistible. Touche. You'll never understand what Dixie just did. I guess it's just beyond your what's in it for me mentality. You know, do me a favor, Ward. Keep June, Wally, and the beaver out of my way. My family stays. And if you don't like it, that's just too bad. I'm still your superior. Not for long. We don't need children at the studio, Tad. We don't need the lawsuits. Lawsuits? What's Adam gonna do, sue himself? 
Or better yet, why don't I do it? That way I could blow any chance I have of grabbing your job. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like I said, the kids are my responsibility. Children aren't the only ones that could get hurt around here. A careless word, a gesture, and Dixie's safe little casserole world comes crashing down around her. Not a tremor. Yet. Don't mess with my family. Too late. If you want to crawl around down there, get dirty, I can too. You know, you threw out the rule book when you went after my child. This isn't about your precious No, job. then what's it about? Is it about you and me? Wild, untamed, steamy, Stop sweaty it. sex? My job was not on your mind when you were in my bed. Your 2.5 kids, your wife, and your picket fence, they went up in flames that night. I'm the part of you you can't bury. No matter how many PTA meetings you go to, the dangerous no safety net, Dad. I want you out of here. You're poisoned to this station. To the station? Or to you? Oh, dear. Uh, my timing appears to be dreadful. No, Marion. Actually, for the first time in your life, Perfect. Mm. Bay bay. Mm. Beats a McKay's burger any day of the week. I wasn't sure you were gonna have an appetite. Yeah, well, Liza did her best to see to that. Hey, listen. If you guys are busy, aren't busy, if you're finished, we just happen to have a new video game down in the staff lounge. Yeah, uh, line up for quarters. Just a sec. Just so you know, here's three for you. Nobody's been able to get past the third level. Till now. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. One condition. You guys stay away from Miss Colby, okay? Death to Megasoy! That is definitely Adam's kid. Hey. Huh? It's gone. What? A little vein that sort of pops out of your head when you get angry. Yeah, well, zero hour has passed. What did Liza want? dare I ask. <laughs> to put me in my place? For now. Don't freak, okay? I've got everything under control. Tad, don't <clears throat> pretend that I'm not part of this. I mean, I was there for Liza's I've got the upper hand speech. Yeah, well, she was just blowing smoke. And tonight? Tonight is different because we have the stakes. Now we're playing by Adam's rules. No retreat, no surrender. We both produce shows, and he who comes in with the highest numbers gets the brass ring. Liza's job. Yeah, and I don't intend to lose to her again. So that's what the tapes are all about. Uh-huh. The videotape, the therapy session upstate at, uh, at Glenberg Penitentiary. How's this sound? Convicted offenders tell parents everything they need to know. It's sickening, it's disgusting, but it's very powerful. The way I see it, it's kind of like, it's teaching folks what they need to know from the inside. Are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Look, this job should have been mine from the get-go. You know, honey, whether Liza's here or a million miles away, she's, she's no threat to us. It's not about Liza, okay? I'm just tired. I've done... I'm sick of the happy host routine. I think I deserve this chance, that's all. <laughs> you got my vote. <laughs> I am sorry. Look, don't you remember what it was like when I first started producing? We had dinner at home every once in a while, you know? We had a life. Well, we still have a life. Please don't make yourself crazy about this. No. No. Crazy time has passed. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for all of us. With you beside me? I can't be stopped. <laughs> the air was sure electric when I walked in here between the two of you. I've heard of co-workers disagreeing, but this mm -hmm. is none of your business. You were practically boring holes into one another. Um, I heard Tad say it wasn't about the job. What else did you hear? Unfortunately, that was the extent of it. Okay, sweetheart, what's going on? Well, then why is it that you think that you have a right to come in here and interrogate me? Motherhood. <laughs> what, is your little agenda with Mr. Martin gone awry? Mother, I don't have an agenda. 
He's after my job. The only agenda I have is hanging on to what's mine. Well, how could that have happened? With Adam's blessings. It's a horse race. Whoever crosses the finish line wins the station manager job at WRCW. Well, Donna, you've always loved a good challenge. He doesn't deserve this job. He's totally unqualified. Liza, all this tension is very bad for your skin. You're going to get dreadful circles under Mother, your eyes. But I'll leave the name of your plastic surgeon at the desk when you leave. <sighs> all right, aren't you new, darling? Tell me, this is more than a professional squabble, isn't it? Mother, this job, it means everything to me. And your opponent? You can sell shoes at dollar days, as far as I'm concerned. Liza, be smart. Winning a war without the spoils is a very shallow victory. And a great big fat bonus check isn't going to keep your feet warm at night. Okay? So, think about that. Bye, darling. So, call me later, okay? Yeah, just as soon as I get the chance. Now, listen, you two... Go straight to bed, okay? We'll wait up. No, you won't. It's late. I'll tell you what. I'll pop in and check up on you just as soon as I get home. And meet a story? Oh, I don't know. It might be a little too late for stories there, kiddo, but we'll do it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm on story duty tonight. But you don't do all the parts. Well, you'll just have to suffer through. Come on, let's get out of Daddy's way for a while, all right? Hey. Wait up. But your work. Huh. Forget it. I got stories to read. <laughs> oh, come on. What about the tapes? No, I got through most of it already. Look, see? I will just finish up tomorrow, put it right there in a safe place, come in early and hit the ground running. You sure this won't mess you up? Oh, contraire. There's no better way to keep myself from short-circuiting. Tonight, it's a ghost of Sinbad. Yeah! It's off to Treasure Island with you, little Mayfies. Come on, you, uh, <laughs> coming, wench? I love you. Yeah? It's a good thing, because later on, I intend to have my way with you. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Where the hell are they? Lose your kids again? My videotapes, what have you done with them? Studio's full of tapes. They were in my office. I was reviewing them last night. Now they're gone. I need them for a show. Well, then you should have been more careful. I was careful. I put him in some place safe. Obviously not safe enough. Oh, man, I should have expected this. It is, it's, it's, it's just your style. You know, you couldn't possibly play it straight. Be up front, could you? An ethics lecture from you? I want my videotapes in my office now. I don't have them. Ask a PA, or better yet, call home. Maybe Chip and Ernie took them expecting the Little Mermaid. My kids know better. <laughs> Steve! Steve, come here. <clears throat> Did, um... Did you by any chance take any videotapes out of my office? Uh, we pick up all the copies laying around, we take them to editing. What a coincidence. Well, I tell you what, you go back to editing and you tell Mitch I want them back. Oh, okay? it's too late. He erased them first thing this morning. Oh, that is... I, I, oh man, this is just... You... Don't you ever, ever go in my office ever again and take anything out of there... Without my permission, okay? It's off limits from now on. Dad, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've fine. done it lots of times. I'm really sorry. Come on, get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, man. Mystery solved. That's it, Steve. You put him up to it. Prove it. I don't have to. It's got your handwriting all over it. I have more to do with my life than babysit some glorified office boy. You don't like it? Fire him. Okay. Okay, fine. I wanted to play this straight. Just you and me, head to head. Again? But you've got to twist the rules around, right? Just make up more as you go along, something like that? I win. I don't make excuses. Oh, Liza, this isn't over yet. It hasn't been over between us for a long time. Has it, Dad? <clears throat> is it uh, warm in here, or is it just me? What are you doing here, Mother? Preventing a war? Well, don't get too comfortable, Marion. Family's no longer welcome in the studio. Liza's rules. Oh, my, my. You've sure worked him up into a frenzy. I'm busy. Go away. Deja vu. Passion still flaring. Take it somewhere else, Mother. All right, darling, talk to me. What is it? What, in break tradition? I'm not leaving quietly this time, Liza. Something is brewing, and I want to know what it is. Nothing. Nonsense. Of course, I can always let my very active imagination run wild, you know.
go sell a house, Mother. No, not before you tell me what's wrong. What's right? Adam put my job up for grabs. I got half a dozen shows to go through. And, and I can't get a moment of peace. You know, work is never the root of a woman's frustration. Oh, well, tell me, Mother. What is? Oh, well, we both know the answer to that, No, darling. we don't. I'm not you. I can't just jump from one man... To another? <sighs> All right, darling, what else can we do? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, no, Liza. I pray this wouldn't happen. You've slept with Tad, haven't you? <laughs>